एट फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर ओके वी गेट इट इज वन पॉइंट एट फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ शेयर स्ट्रेस एट ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट इज ए बी सी डी ई एफ न्यूट्रल एक्सिस एंड एफ जी नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डाइग्राम सो टू ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डाइग्राम वी विल हैव टू ड्रॉ द टी सेक्शन शेप okay we have given the names that is ab cd ef then neutral axis and fg okay now to draw the diagram we have to first draw a vertical line so we will draw a vertical line then take all the points horizontally okay now if we see what is the maximum value we have obtained maximum value we have obtained as 1.85 then 1.83 and then 0.36 right so we can have a scale of 0.5 then 1 2 and 2 okay so we can take this as our scale now to start with neutral axis at ab is 0 so we can show this as 0 neutral axis at cd we have calculated as 0.36 so this is 0.5 0.36 will be somewhere over here okay so we can join at cd i have shown 0.36 okay and we can draw one curve then at ef so same line ef what is the value 1.83 so 1.83 will be somewhere over here okay so we can show 1.83 as it is the same point we can join by a horizontal line then at neutral axis it is 1.85 so 1.85 at neutral axis somewhere over here again we can show by a curve at point this it is zero so we can join this by okay so this diagram is called as a stress distribution diagram okay we can write down over here our values this is point 36 i am not writing the unit over here this is 1.83 newton per mm square over here it is 1.85 newton per mm square okay so we can see that at neutral axis we have obtained the maximum value and this is your shear stress distribution diagram okay now tell me 
what do you understand from this diagram what can you tell me uh, that what you have observed in this particular diagram anything different or what can you conclude from this particular diagram okay i'll say what you can conclude is the first and the foremost important is that the value of tau is varying with respect to width that is the first point that is it is inversely proportional to the width so at cd the tau value is only 0.36 whereas at ef the tau value is 1.83 newton per mm square okay because at ef the width is only 100 mm whereas at cd the width is 500 mm okay this is the first thing second thing is that the value of tau is increasing with respect to depth up to neutral axis okay and then again from neutral axis it is decreasing decreasing and reaches zero value as it reaches the extreme bottommost fiber okay so this is how the shear stress distribution is carried out for a t section now i will try to take the stress distribution diagram for a i section okay so now we are going to consider a i section so the problem is for an i section a section of b is a i section now this is a symmetrical section okay tell me what is uh, a flange and a web do you remember in my pending stress lecture i told what is a flange and what is a web i told that this member is called as flange that is top flange this is called as web and this is called as bottom flange okay so we are going to study the stress distribution diagram for this particular i section the dimensions of the i section are uh, the top flange has a width of 120 mm the bottom flange has also the width of 120 mm then the thickness or the depth is 10 mm for the web it is 120 mm and again for this it is 10 mm also the thickness of the web is 10 mm okay the moment of inertia is already given for this particular section so we are not going to find out the moment of inertia is given and that is uh, equal to 11.6 into 10 to the power 6 mm to the power 4 this moment of inertia is already given also they have given that the value of shear force is 14.5 kilo newtons okay that is equal to 14.5 into 10 to the power 3 newtons right so this all is given you have to draw a stress 
distribution diagram for the I section okay so now it is very simple as they have already given you the moment of inertia they have given you the shear force value so you have to directly calculate the value at different points so first of all I have to name this particular section into points that is this will be a b this is c d this is e f where will be neutral axis lying what will be the position of neutral axis yes 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 very simple question the value of neutral axis will be at the center as it is a symmetrical section as it is a symmetrical section y bar will be equal to y bar will be equal to what will be the value of y bar tell me tell me tell me yes y bar that will be equal to 10 plus 120 plus 10 divided by 2 okay that is the total depth divided by 2 okay and what is it 70 mm okay so y bar that is equal to 70 mm so now I can show over here this is my neutral axis okay and it is at a distance of y bar is equal to 70 mm now is it is a symmetrical section we we'll find out the distribution at a b c d e f neutral axis and then same will be there for the bottom that is suppose i name this as x y this is m n and this as p q ok so in this particular case in this particular case it will be same at a b and p q similarly for c d and m n and e f and x y so we will find out only the value of shear stresses above the neutral axis and same we can write down for the below the neutral axis okay so now to start with first of all we have to calculate the value of a y bar now what will be my first area so for a b and p q it is 0 for c d this will be my shaded area ok this will be my shaded area so now we can show that tau at c d tau at c d that is equal to tau at C D that is equal to S A Y bar upon B I. So, what is my shaded area for C D? It is A B C D that is equal to 120 into 10. Okay. So, that is equal to 1200 mm square ok then what is y bar so y bar is distance of cg of shaded area so this is 10 by 2 up to neutral axis so what will be this distance what will be this distance this distance how much it will be this hole is 70 ok this hole is 70 this is 10 
so this will be how much 70 minus 10 that is equal to 60 okay so 10 by 2 plus 60 that is equal to 65 mm what is B for CD for CD the B is 120 mm I value they have given so when we substitute everything what we get the answer is tau at CD that is equal to shear force that is 14.5 into 10 to the power 3 newtons into area that is 1200 okay into y bar we have calculated as 65 divided by divided by b that is 120 and i they have given us 11.6 into 10 to the power 6 okay so we get the value of tau as fourteen point five exponential three multiplied by twelve hundred multiplied by sixty five divided by 120 11.6 exponential 6 so we get it as 0.8125 so 0.8125 newton per mm square that is the value of tau at cd okay now tau at ef so if I want to calculate the value of tau at EF, tau at EF, okay, everything will remain same. What will change? Only the B will change. So can I do this as tau at CD multiplied by width of CD and 